Hello everybody, it is your girl, God's girl, Ngazi. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you five financial tips for couples. A lot of couples argue over their finances. As a matter of fact, a lot of marriages have been destroyed because of money issue. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you five tips that will help you. Tip number one, merge your finances. Merge it, put your money together. A lot of couples have this mentality of united we stand, but divided we bank, get it? You know, it means I love you, but I don't wanna have the same account with you. And it's extremely important that your money is together. It's extremely important that you bank together. And for those of you that don't want to have the same account, that's okay. But make sure you have his PIN number and you have her PIN number. Make sure your money is open. Accountability. So you can ask questions. You can ask him, why did you take out this money? And she can ask you, why did you take out this money? You guys have to explain yourself to each other. Accountability. Tip number two, dealing with debt. Debt. How do you deal with that? Um, any kind of debt that he brings into the relationship is both of your responsibility. Or any type, any type that she brings into the relationship is both of your responsibility. Keep that in mind. The simple fact that he's one that brought it or she's one that brought it into the relationship does not mean that they have to pay it off by themselves. Make sure you are working towards it together. Try and eliminate it together. Very important. Tip number three, how you spend money. How do you spend your money? It has to be discussed. Some people, um, both of them don't have the same type of, you know, urge to spend. I don't like shopping. Even my husband doesn't like shopping, but I, I, I think I shop more than him. No, I know I shop more than him. So when it comes to spending, you have to have a budget. You know, you spend $500 a week, you spend $1,000 a week, you spend $20 a week according to your bank account. Cut your coat according to your size, those of you that are spending in the relationship. So be in control of how you spend your money and make sure that there is a budget in place. Tip number four, invest wisely. Invest. Make sure that both of you invest in different things to have different source of income in case if he loses his job in case if you lose your job in case if your business is struggling that other source of income will be what you guys will depend on and rely on so that you don't become homeless because you lost your job a lot of people are homeless today not because they don't want to work but because they lost their job they can't pay their bills so make sure you invest in other source of income to keep your family going Tip number five, keep keeping secret money. Keeping secret money. This is very, very, very important. A lot of people do this. They go and open up a secret account somewhere and they start taking small, small money and they be hiding it in a corner. My question to you is why are you hiding it? What are you gonna do with it? Build a house with it, buy a car with it? This tip today is for those that are married. If you believe that you're married, that house you built, that secret house, is not gonna, you're not gonna do anything with it. So keeping secret money is a no-no. So for those of you that have secret account, go and close that account today. Come and confess. Bring the money out and confess to your husband or your wife. Secret money is a no-no. It will destroy your marriage. Trust is very, very important in a relationship trust is very very important if you try that it could actually ruin and destroy your marriage so giving your mother some money to keep for you in a corner giving your uncle money giving somebody in Africa money all this it's not gonna get you anywhere so if you have that go close that count it's still hanging out with your girl God's girl and Guzzi I hope that the tip that I've given you today will help your relationship and just try it out. You'll see that it will really, really make a difference in your marriage. Love on me and I'll love on you. And if you don't love on me, I'm still going to love on you. Have a good one.